Hey guys, welcome to another Coffee in the Van with Rob and Jan. Yep, we asked everybody what they thought. Are you going to say hello or what? Whatever, strong. Oh, I oh, made it. God. <laughs> Glad you don't, if I had Tim Horton shares and you worked there, I'd sell them. Anyway. They don't make it strong. <laughs> that's, that's like <laughs> that's triple dark roast. We don't drink that. Yeah, uh, yeah it's Starbucks. It's, yes, it's nice. That's right too. Yeah. yeah. So... Anyways. Yeah. What would yeah. you like? <laughs> you made me forget now. <laughs> <laughs> so so we did ask you our last coffee in the van. We yeah. asked what we should call it. And everyone that wrote in and commented, thank you for your comments. Yes, it is uh, Rob and Jan. No, it is coffee in the van with Rob and Jan. <laughs> so thanks. Take, take two. Take 27, whatever. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we just wanted to touch base with everyone, and uh, I've got another van life poem, shout out poem today. Somebody that actually asked for a poem, not specifically from us, but I watched one of their videos and well, they asked... Well, then I wouldn't read it. I watched one of their videos and they asked someone to write them a poem, so but I thought... But you're going to. And then there's somebody that keeps interrupting me, I don't know. Oh no. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I wrote a poem. <laughs> Stop it. I wrote a poem for another van life couple. They are Francais, Quebecois Francais. And uh, they asked for a poem, so I wrote them a poem. So hopefully they like it. And also, we're featuring. Uh, our waterfall countertop that Rob's going to talk more about in this video that is something else they mentioned on their channel that they're very potentially interested in doing in their new van build that they're in the middle of doing right now. And a little hint on who it is. I washed my feet. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> I had a shower this morning. You, you wash your feet. You never wash your feet. Um, okay, so I never washed them, but I got them wet. That but counts. that doesn't count. Actually, that's something good to bring up because I think other people have brought this up. But stars have brought this up and people say, okay, when you're in the shower, Rob throws whatever kind of anything that suds on his hair and just does his whole body with it. He well, figures that is my body hair. When he washes his hair, it all just kind of falls down and that's good enough. He doesn't specifically wash other body parts. You got to wash all your body parts. Well, I wash my body parts but you don't wash your feet well i you walk on my just, feet but but you have to scrub your feet separately and your legs Says they don't who? they don't just get automatically washed from the runoff from the rest of your body that's I my think, thought i think i think dom would disagree Shh, you're ruining the surprise okay read the poem then no i want to read the poem now <laughs> yeah read the in poem in the middle of our talk in the middle of the talk it's never been done before. Yeah, well, okay. it's only okay. the second episode. <laughs> Wait, let me have a sip of coffee first. You can, maybe you talk about the waterfall countertop first, and then I'll yeah. read the Yeah, yeah, anyway, uh, uh, yeah, people wanted to know uh, how we did the waterfall water uh, waterfall countertop. It's a birch uh, countertop from Home Depot that um, I had cut uh, at 45 so I could make the 90 degree. And uh, you can see by the... Uh, video that uh, it's kept off the floor so the end grain can't uh, soak up any moisture where you come in and uh, all the edges are uh, sealed and that with a, an oil and then I've put in a uh, a, a touch uh, yeah it's called a touch uh, switch that uh, adjusts the, the dimmer a, a touch dimmer switch on it mm -hmm. for all and, the lights up above yeah for the lights <clears throat> and uh, anyway uh yeah, uh, I, I like the way it turned out. Would I use the product again? No. It's a butcher block, it's birch, and it's mm -hmm. soft. Is it it's, one and a half or two inch? I think it's a two inch, right? It's one and a half inches thick. Uh, it's it um, it's got, uh, I, I forget the uh, the type of jointing on it, but anyway, uh, finger jointing. It's all finger jointed birch uh, out of Scandinavia. and uh, It's beautiful, though. Oh, it looks nice. Uh but just don't touch it because I'm telling you what, it's it's like a toilet paper. It's yeah, it uh, very dentable and scratches. And you've and, had a uh, couple little cracks that have opened up a little too, a couple little issues. Yeah. But that's also, I think, from 
running the heater and then the extreme cold and the temperature changes uh, Yeah, I've got too. one place because uh, when I did the build, I talked about uh, how much I had left between the edge of the sink and the edge of the countertop, and then there's a 45, and I anticipated that to uh, potentially be a problem, and I did have one place that it just and I've I've repaired it, but uh, still it's something to consider. And and I've reinforced it with uh, aluminum on, on the underneath to uh, try and stabilize it. So is it going to last? I don't know. Uh, for the time being, uh, it looks good. But uh, yeah, I, I think that I would take a different approach uh, next time. And uh, uh, I'd probably put Arborite in and uh, edge it. Edge it with oak. And, next time? Uh, you're going to do another one? Well, if this doesn't last... Uh, oh, I thought you meant you are going to build another van. Oh, well, <laughs> Yeah, no. This is this is my piece de resistance. No. Is that is that all you're gonna say about the countertop? That's everything you need to say about it? Well yeah, that's close enough. Okay. Close enough, yeah. And oh but I thought you had a special way where it's mounted that it doesn't touch the floor or something. I just said that, yeah. Oh, was I not Yeah, listening? what I did, what I did actually was I used the uh, uh, we put smart drop flooring in. You think I was a man tooting him out or something. Yeah, really. Uh no, you're not that good. Uh <laughs> um yeah, what I did was I, I just cut a piece of uh, smart drop flooring about uh, one inch by uh, the width of the countertop, which is about 22, I believe. And I yeah. set the floor on top of the, or not the floor, the edge of the countertop on top of that. And uh, so it, it, it's, it's got about an eighth of an inch uh, before it's in contact with anything wet. And on, and on my, I, I like the way it turned out. I think it's beautiful. But at first I was annoyed with him because similar to the whole paint color thing, the original reason why we bought a larger piece of birch butcher block was because I wanted it for our table as well as for an additional cutting board or, or use somewhere else. So the whole point of buying a longer piece... That's bad coffee. It's good. Oh he doesn't like it. Good. Strong. It's like chewing on elastic bands. I like my coffee like I like my men. Strong. Yeah, strong. Yeah. Um, so... The countertop was supposed to be used for a five to six foot length countertop. Yeah. And then the balance of it was supposed to be our lagoon table and an extra cutting board. And that was the reason why we bought a bigger piece. But he decided to go his own way and do a waterfall countertop, which is, it's cool. In hindsight now, I'm happy with it. But yeah, yeah. it yeah. would have been very thick for, for yeah. our table. Yeah, it's... Uh, I think it is two inches, by the way, not one and a half. No, it's one and a half. The two inch we decided not to get because it's we'll, too we'll, thick. We'll put, it, we'll put a little note here what it actually is. I think, I think I'm right. I think I'm right. Pretty sure I'm right. Oh, do you have a tape measure? Are you going to check it right now? He's going to check it right now live. Although we're not live. Oh, by the way, speaking of that, um, speaking of nothing of what I'm talking about. I w oh, no, wait. Ah, oh, crap. He's right. I know half an inch. Keep that thought to yourself. <laughs> Say anything. <laughs> Couldn't help herself. So, uh, yeah. So it's uh, one and a half inch birch butcher block counter. I'm wrong. I'm see. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, That's why she couldn't afraid. be relied on to pick pink colors. <laughs> oh, by the way, we didn't have this moved around here. There. Uh, yeah. So I was going to mention something else. Oh, right. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm actually pretty excited because our van tour video, van tour video, da, 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 um, actually has, has surpassed 12,000 views now. So thank you for all who have watched it. If you haven't seen it yet, um, please make sure to have a look at it, uh, like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff um, because um, lots of fun things coming your way, our way, everyone's way. We're trying, we're trying, I don't know. We're trying, Still whatever. Still feels like 2020. <laughs> so we're going to do, we <laughs> have more, new? we have more van build videos Rob's working on. We have, um, uh, more of our travel videos. I've put out the one for Banff area. That was our first night, our inaugural van life voyage where we stayed overnight at the Lake Louise, uh, overflow parking lot. Met our very first van lifer and had chili with her. It was a great time. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure to watch that one. And, um... And we didn't take as much video as we had hoped to at that point. We have more photos at the very start because we were exhausted. He was mainly exhausted and we were traveling and the weather was crappy and cold and rainy and snowy. So it really couldn't get a good footage of the mountains, but we did our best and we've, we've got a combination of footage of um, yeah. photos yeah, we, and I, I really couldn't get out because, um, and actually uh, do photography because 
I wasn't prepared for it. Uh, when I went to uh, uh, Edmonton area to build the van, it was in July, so I wasn't prepared for what was going to come. You know, mm -hmm. the snow, and it was just miserable. Like, I, I don't know if you're like what we've been experiencing, but uh, it's like we're living an episode of Groundhog Day every morning when we wake yeah, up. Yeah, we thought Valentine's Day was just oh, really Groundhog Day. It doesn't, it's, it's all the same. It's just crazy, the <laughs> weather, and it's just, you know. Yeah. Press yes. already? Ew. Okay. Action! No. Yeah. <laughs> so, want to do something funny? We are in the middle of doing, we, we thought we'd finished our video. Yeah. And one of the things that we talked about in the part of the video that somehow just decided to stop recording was how we're having issues with some of our recordings. How ironic is that? So in the video part that you missed because it didn't somehow record, we talked about how my last video I did for um, Banff, the one we put together for Banff area, our inaugural time there, our inaugural trip, um, that some of the footage when we went to either when it was loaded onto the computer or when it was done on Rob's Samsung phone camera or when it was put into DaVinci Resolve, which is the program we use for editing, somehow even though the footage showed that the video and audio was linked, there's times you might notice here and there where the audio is fractionally off, like by just like half a second or just a few you know a little part off and we're not sure why that's happening so if any of you out there do any editing and filming and understand why and at what port part that's happening if it's in the camera if it's during the um you know putting it on the computer or putting it into the files or the davinci resolve issues we're having some problems with that so that's a little frustrating and also had issues with rendering the video so i went to render the video and for some weird reason oh yeah that was a bad one yeah holy smokes i was so i was didn't get yeah. it done till like two in the morning because i went to render it it would start to render and kept failing at this one part of the video that for some reason said it didn't that media was Crumb. not uh, un, unavailable or is yeah. it still you know is it still online or something like that it was showing that the media wasn't um wasn't showing that it was there anymore even though it was physically there and we could watch it it wasn't rendering so I ended up trying to render it over and over again taking it out of the edit putting it back in reloading the, the yeah. uh that same footage and over and over again about 20 times and trying to render it and ended up rendering it by itself within that section of the um video and then for some reason it then accepted it and did render the entire video as one. So I'm not sure why. If anyone has any insights as to why that would have happened, that'd be very helpful. And one other thing uh, I don't believe we have mentioned yet, because we did, but the video didn't work, is somebody else, one of our subscribers, had mentioned they wanted a picture of under the sink and what the plumbing looks like. So we've also included that here. So if Rob just wants to explain a little bit about that underneath. Yeah, just a very simple uh, RV, uh, RV trap. Uh, coming out of the sink uh, and going into a, a nine gallon uh, tank that is just for gray water. Very simple, basic, basic, right. basic. Yeah. So. Do you want to sit more this way so you don't look, don't look like a ghost? You're gonna think I like you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you look like a ghost. I don't know if we talk about that either. He looks like a ghost. Lean forward this way more. Anyway. He, he always looks like a ghost in his passport yeah. pictures. He always looks like a ghost. For some reason, his face, his facial features aren't distinct enough from each other or something that it all looks like one pastel picture it's it's not distinctive so that's what we covered and then we were talking about photography and how you're into photography have been since you're yeah, 18 been, years old right quite a while, yeah. but we haven't done a lot of photography yeah, videos yet, new so. to us videos new so uh, yeah. we're just learning it and uh that's why uh yeah anybody who has a, if there is anybody who has a little bit of knowledge with uh filmic pro it might be nice to have a resource that uh, we could pick their brains every now and then because it's uh an uphill uh, learning curve yeah so filmic pro is the program that we shoot in yeah, on his phone so no. um oh no Yes. Yeah, Filmic Pro on the phone, uh, DaVinci Resolve for editing. Yeah, I meant to say DaVinci Resolve. You said the wrong thing. Yeah, well, it's all the same. It's all frustrating. Man. <laughs> so I have to read my poem still. Uh, was there anything else you wanted to talk about before? Nope, then? read your poem. And in terms of the photography, what we were saying, 
that we, what we planned to say was that Rob really hasn't had a chance to do his photography yet yeah. or his, his drone and all that kind of thing. Yeah. So, bought so, a drone in July, July, and uh, this was February, and I still haven't put the propellers on it. <laughs> so a lot of our footage from out west coming back through, it's some beautiful spots we saw we, we stopped at and went through and and there's still some some great footage but we have a combination of photos as well as video that we're going to piece together because we were so exhausted and especially him building out the van that we just didn't um get as much video footage as we had planned and it was like minus 20 30 something and yeah. many days too so to be outside filming was crazy so we're we're working on it we're getting better as we go and uh yeah read the poem yeah. Read the poem. Read the poem. That's why they're here. Read the poem. They're not here for that. That's true. Uh, so this couple, French couple, nice couple. Well, I assume I don't even know them for sure. Like in person, they seem they seem nice. We seem nice. We don't. You don't know for sure, right? Uh, what were you gonna say? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna read the poem now. It's a little late. You asked for this a uh, couple of weeks back on your videos and it was for inspiration or for you would ask for just a little poem as inspiration in the comments but I went a little farther and hopefully you you like this so here we go so you've asked for a poem Dame Marie well fear not because here I am aujourd'hui I specialize in shout out poems to van life peeps I read them on our channel and share for you to keep so here is your poem as asked for you voila for van life sagas bonjour Comment ça va? So you sold Vanessa and bought Vanessa 2.0. You've got her delivered and raring to go. Now to plan the yellow stripes, letting us choose. With your fans on this task, you just can't lose. Future baby is considered. Well, where will he or she rest? Your papa will help you figure out what works best. And a fun and silly couple with the French lesson each week. Keep Marie happy, Dom. Please wash your feet. It's cold up here in Canada. Wear a toque or balaclava. Good luck on your new build, Dama Marie. Van Life Sagas. That's good enough. <laughs> Very good. I made one little mistake, but I'm not going to read it again. I've read it like six times. That's enough. I can't be perfect. We're not perfect. No one's perfect. Speak for yourself. Okay. <laughs> okay, did this record this time? I hope hope so why does there's so th that's the funny part so why is this camera cutting off when we're halfway through talking has it had enough of us is it getting bored and saying that's it and cutting us or why would it yeah. cut through halfway through and show that it's recording yeah it shows that it's recording it shows the timing you're... and all of a sudden for some reason it stops so yeah it's counting yeah anyway hopefully that's enough yep we're done yes good Bye. good riddance So here is your poem. Here is your poem as asked for you, blah blah sakes. Okay. Here we go again. I'm not gonna keep that part. <laughs> I'll bleep it out or whatever. So you've asked for a poem. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> How many times do I have to read this to you? <laughs>